Sometimes you don't get a choice about things. This here's a prime example of shit happening. No! What the fuck? And everybody applauds. Everybody's like, fuck yeah! Taking that white woman, yeah! As with all superhero movies, or at least original superhero movies, you have to have an origin story. Oh, yes. And Steel's origin story is actually not too different than his comic book origin story. A lot of the things are the same, at least... Uh, other than the whole Superman element, yeah. Other than the whole <laughs> Superman element, not, uh, Superman not existing, yeah. or maybe, or maybe existing, existing, or I don't even know. whatever have you. So, yeah. it starts with Shaq, Sparky, and Burke. Those are the three The three people. They all work at the same uh, the same secret weapons development in the uh, army. thing in the army. Yeah. And they're showing a U.S. senator how they've developed new lasers and sonic weapons and whatnot. Now, the sonic weapons don't hurt civilians. They're, in are, are, theory. In theory, don't hurt civilians. They don't hurt uh, the bad guys. They mm. stun them. Non-lethal. Then they have a laser that they show right before that that can burn through tanks. So, kind of 50-50 on that <laughs> yeah. thing, right? So, what would normally be kind of like a routine weapons demonstration... In a movie that would be in the 90s, you know, something would go awry or whatever. This shit just goes off the rails immediately, and the consequences fucking lasting. No! <laughs> the senator had been killed, sir. She may never walk again. He's lucky he just got dismissed instead of being sent to Leavenworth. He's just in the parking lot? Like, yeah, that's yeah. it? He he manslaughtered one person. Yeah, kills a United States senator, paralyzes another officer with, like, experimental weaponry, and they're just like, ah, slap on the hand, you can walk away. Endangered countless lives yeah. in that training facility. Yeah. <laughs> and, they, and they let him walk. They didn't... They don't track them. They don't yeah. give them uh, probation. They let them walk the streets freely. What kind? Of, what in white privilege is well, that? Yeah, and they're just kind of like, ah, well, that rascal, ah, whatever. Yeah, and, oh, that scallywag. And the whole time, the whole time, like from the moment he shows up, Judd Nelson just has this like evil scowl on his face. You know, like he's just like waiting to fuck everybody over. Right. And that's the thing. The worst part of something like this yeah. is that this is only the beginning of the movie. <laughs> that that is literally five minutes into this movie. Right. And, and <laughs> like, that. here's the thing. Like, I was along for the ride. For that first part of it, well, no, it was because my thing was like, I, pretending that Shaq is like a like a normal big ass giant brilliant weapon scientist. Like <laughs> I could, I'll go with that. There's plenty of giant people that don't belong in their jobs, and uh, mm. I just I can believe that. And this movie goes so slow in executing all of these different types of events yeah. that you have time to think about things like this. Where it's like, wait. Why is it taking so long to do these proceedings? Why is it so long to going back to seeing her body crushed? Yeah. Why are we doing all this other stuff to make us think about how he killed a U.S. senator <laughs> and he gets to walk free, scot free, walk away scot free? Is yeah. what I'm trying to say, like just completely. <laughs> and that's the thing. Like I say, there's two things about this movie that I'll bring up throughout this entire review. It's that it just they just break this movie at every turn, and that is one. It moves so slow. You see every seam of this mm -hmm. movie, every single last one. And then the second part is that it lacks subtlety all around. Those two things come up in every single flaw of this movie. And trust me, there are a lot. And one of those things can be blamed, can be pushed on for the reasoning why it's so bad. Mm. And I, it brings me to the next scene immediately after this when we talk about lack of subtlety because yeah. this is the aftermath of Sparky and her injuries. Well, I'll come see you as soon as I'm back on my feet. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, that is man. a major character. <laughs> and I was shocked. She's my favorite actress in this movie. That nurse. Is that just nurse? Like, mm -mm. No, that's the thing. No, but she is, uh, she is a major character yeah. in this movie. Yeah. Now, if they, if they didn't do it by a corny extras nod, I would be like, all right, you know what? It's a thing that happens in real life. Paralysis happens. It's sad. It yeah. was a, a direct reaction to the action of Burke. That sets him up as a villain. Villain. But then you do it so comically, or it is not supposed to be comically, but it makes oh, but you it laugh. it comes off as comically, man. <laughs> right, and there's absolutely no dignity in the response of that, you know? Yeah. I mean, what was even worse is that they implied that she was not going to be able to walk again in that testimony. I yep. left that part in there because that is something where it's like, she may never walk again. It's a big question. And 
if they would have not done that part of the scene, we could have skipped ahead to the VA hospital where she sat and we realized she cannot walk. Mm -hmm. That would have been... I know I'm asking for fucking emotional depth in this movie. I yeah. know that's something weird to ask, but that's something so simple that you could just cut out and make it that much better. Oh, and that's the thing that kind of stuck out to me watching the movie this time is this really is, it, it's a kid's movie. Right. This isn't really meant for anybody over the age of like 14. But here's the thing. It's a kid's movie that's rated PG-13. Oh, well, yeah, but yeah, yes, which is weird. But but I mean, honestly, like you watch it and it feels like an after school special that Shaq happens to just walk into. Right. You know, where they, they say all sorts of bad words and all sorts of but, nasty but it's things. Not like, you know, Quincy Jones talking about how he wanted this movie to be you know like inspirational and a role model for kids you can really tell watching this in a bad way because it doesn't feel like it's made for anybody else other than 12 year olds who are watching this right who really yeah. like Shaq it's gonna be a PSA that, you know hey we're exactly. gonna be able to watch this movie in school it's like oh it's PG-13 exactly. but it has a good yeah, message yeah. and that's the thing it's like the really that, that lack of subtlety it would bother me more if this movie were trying to you know, be anything remotely for adults. Right. Which is not, when I, which I realized pretty quickly. So when there's moments like that, you know, moments later on where they're just, everybody's just saying what they feel and everything. It's like, okay, I mean, this sucks, but at the same time, like, yeah, I guess for their audience, it kind of works. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just look of disgust. And... It bothers me. It bothers me because I was just like, man, that's really almost inappropriate. Like it's almost, oh, yeah. it's almost inappropriate. This woman like, is paralyzed this woman for life. Is paralyzed for life in yeah. the context of the films. So it's like, yeah, she ain't even gonna walk again. Like, <laughs> yeah, did yeah. she just get the test results back and didn't tell her, but nodded it to Shaq? That's against the rules, I'm pretty sure. But whatever, Shaq's like, you know what? I'm done with the military. I'm going back, going back to Cali, Cali. Yeah. And so he's walking the streets. Yeah, the kids know him. Yeah, he's like a loved figure in that community. When he walks from, like, oh my god, Shaq, what's going on? Yeah, it's like, hey, yeah. you're back from the military. You made it back. You know, oh, so at the very least, they know that he's in the military. Yeah. Probably they know about weapons because his grandma knows about weapons. So you know, grandma's probably like, oh yeah, my baby, he makes all the weapons for the military. And that's how she talks. I'm not even just doing that. And like my grandma would if I was doing things like that for the military. So people know what he do. Know, yeah. what, know what he does. Know what he do. No, know I what like he do. Better. It's Black History Month. Peppering in the abonics. But anyway, <laughs> they, know what he, they, they know what he's doing. And they know Corey's over there. I'm sorry. And so, uh, yeah. And <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you say that and I look over and I just see Corey giving like the biggest shit-eating grin. Just like, yeah. Exactly. See? <laughs> See, now we have more black people. It's okay. So I don't think that's how that works, but all right. I, I mean, the more black people, the better. Ha-ha, fix that for you. And so, Bur at the same time, Burke, yeah. the fucking manslaughter man extraordinaire, he goes back to L.A. also. And he gets with an old business partner who got out of the weapons running business to sell arcade games, which tells you, yes, this is still the 90s oh, because man. arcade games are still a thing. This movie is so 90s. And oh. I think this is where they thought the Academy Award was going to be won. <laughs> <laughs> because they put all their chips on this scene, man. They put all of their chips down. They wanted to get all the nominations for for Shaq, for for uh, Skippy, you know, Sparky, uh, Sparky, Sparky. For, because, because we find out that Shaq wants to get these guns off the streets now because of this. The government's not going to do anything, so he tries to recruit Sparky, who is now paralyzed. <laughs> Uh, is now a paralyzed partner from the he military. He doesn't try to recruit Sparky. He oh. kidnaps Sparky. Oh, <laughs> don't spoil it for the people out there who don't remember this movie. Actually, you know what? You know what? Look it. Say that again. He goes into a V8 hospital and fucking kidnaps the crippled white woman. Okay, so he was she was transferred to a different VA hospital, mm -hmm. so that's why he, they haven't been able to get in contact. Mm -hmm. And she was getting probably one assumed specialized treatment for her paralysis, yeah. you know. And she is dejected. She doesn't want to go. And you know that he's going to get her out of there. And you say kidnapped. And that's, you know, that can mean a lot of things. You know, like he convinced her and they escaped on their own. She consented and was like, you know what? I, I think I can do it or I'm not sure. And maybe we can try it out. And they kind of leave hush hush. You would think that a TV movie would have a proper resolution. Just say it was a TV movie, right? Okay. Say that any soap opera that if you were to say, I'm going to get this person. I'm going to kidnap this person from the VA hospital. Mm -hmm. That he would require just something a little bit more kind of thoughtful dramatic. or dramatic. Or oomph, there, have some oomph to it. Or, or have some sort of weight. Considering yeah. the weight of the scene and the emotionality of it. Yeah. Considering, like I said, she finds out she's paralyzed and she can't move again. Mm -hmm. But we already had the, the fucking extra nod and disapproval to ruin everything. Mm -mm -mm. But like I said, here's the Academy Award winning performance. Sometimes you don't get a choice about things. Shit happens. <laughs> I can't. Stop it, Irons! I don't want to go! Listen, Sparks, sometimes you don't get a choice about things. 
This here is a prime example of shit happening. No. What the fuck? And everybody applauds. Everybody's like, fuck yeah! Taking that white woman, yeah! And that's how it ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes to that. Cut to that. Yeah, he's like, no. all right, you're coming with me. Yeah! This is why we have consent issues in America. Because <laughs> Shaq was my role model. If I'm watching Shaq at eight years old, being like, shit happens. Sometimes things happen when you don't want them what to. What do you mean? Oh! <laughs> and he carries her out against the world. She doesn't want to go. She's just time put she's me going, down. No, no. And everybody else and in that hospital. Everyone is just like, yeah. Everyone is clapping. And here's the fucked up part. Okay, so I'm going to go back to that scene and yeah. I'm going to play it back. There's... Not only is everyone clapping, there's an Asian couple that walks in that doesn't know what's going on, even if they overheard the conversation, <laughs> and they start clapping. <laughs> All they see is a giant black man carrying a white woman in a wheelchair, and they're like, this is normal, VA hospital, hey, it, it does a, It does a heart good, okay? It, it does a heart good. And I'm just like, look, look. I And the other thing I noticed, hold on. You're looking like Lomax at the uh, anniversary party. <laughs> just care <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Uh, if you don't know who Lomax is, Lomax is a giant, strong black man that is our friend. Uh, uh, I'll say he's my friend so he doesn't beat me up. And, uh, no, he's, no, Lomax is great. But there was another part where I'm like, okay, look, that was already absurd. But then I had another little part of me that was yeah. in the back when I was reliving that scene, which was it. Shaq slammed the shit out of those doors. They're in a VA hospital. How many people's PTSD was triggered by that yeah. loud ah! Like how many people that got non-flashbacks? Like, oh shit, they're coming. They're coming. And they just start crying. Like... I was waiting for that part. There's like, everyone's clapping, but there's one guy in the corner freaking his shit out. Oh, but he stopped to clap, though. That's oh, but, okay, yeah, yeah, that's right. right. Yeah, the the yeah. triumphant... He was crying, and then he got up and went, oh, that's good. Go, oh, shit, Charlie. Yeah, so the triumphant yeah. the triumphant return uh, uh, of, of Sparky to the yes. outside world. Yes, He was like, ah, oh. Oh, man. That's nice. Black, black man, he's rescuing that poor white one. Oh, right. Fuck. And so now, this, now we learn more about uh, we get to learn more about Sparky. By the Do way, we? by the way, Sparky is the girl. Uh, Lily is the dog. Sparky is the girl because you know reasons. Uh, yeah, because you know Sparky's not historically the dog name, but whatever. Because they couldn't and, just go ahead and call her Oracle. But I digress. Yeah, I, 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 that's not Barbara Gordon. No, that is. <gasps> is it? No, I know Oracle's Barbara Gordon. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, is this supposed to be Barbara Gordon? The, the, yeah, they basically said they're like, yeah, we wanted to be Barbara Gordon. We just didn't want to call her Barbara, Barbara Gordon because they were making a Batman movie that year. Fair enough, but. Anyway, this movie goes on, and they say, hey, we need to develop spark. Yeah, it just goes on. It just yeah. goes on. It yeah, just goes really on. A great way and, to describe it, yeah. And they have to kind of, you know, they have to find a need for to develop Sparky. And yeah. so they go, we need the people to really care about what she does, but we only have 10 minutes of the film to do it. So we're going to give you a crash course in Sparky's history and her life. And to accomplish this, once again, no subtlety, and no finesse to this film at all. What's her story? My father's dead. She <laughs> drinks herself in and out of rehab. She's on her own. She's Wait. like she's like thirty. <laughs> yeah, she's like she's a grown ass adult. She's Why like is that a 24, problem? 25 years old. She's did did he a abduct chef. a minor from the VA hospital? What the fuck? Were there children soldiers in the U.S. Army? Apparently, she's some sort of yeah. Well, they, they, yeah, this is some weird fucked up unit where they let they let an alcoholic judge uh, Judd Nelson or Judd Hirsch, whoever the fuck it is. Uh, they let this fourteen year old woman and a seven foot one black man all in the same unit to test weapons together. Exactly. And so yeah, when I heard that, it's like, fuck. What's her story? Her father's dead. Her mom's a drug addict. She's on her own. Does She's she, 23. Does she have friends? Like, it'd be one, uh, yeah, it'd be one thing if it, that happened to a teenager. If that happened to like, you or I, I'd be like, yeah, that sucks, but like, you're an adult. Get on with it. Right. And you're in the fucking military. You have <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. options. You're in the VA. You have at least some options. Some options. The some semblance, protection. The semblance of a support system. No, believe, I know the VA is kind of a shithole, but I'm saying semblance of a support system. It was the Clinton years. It was a little better. better. Yeah, it was the Clinton years, and it's better than nothing. It's not like what he's saying where he's like, yeah, that fucking bitch is going to be out on the street by herself unless I'm here for her. Like, no. No, man, come on. And so now they're, they're doing this thing here. She has nobody, but she's hanging out with us now. And then they do just the most inappropriate thing to do in one of these movies. And the, it wouldn't be inappropriate if the execution just wasn't so awful. This is my favorite scene in the movie. I can't. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I'd like that to point out, I'm not laughing at the disabled. I'm laughing at this crippled bitch. And I'm laughing at Shaq just looking at her being like, yeah, look at that white woman crawl. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but that's the thing. It's some pandering shit, man. It is. Mm. It is some false sympathy for your ass right there. And the thing about it that makes just me 
so mad is that it borderlines on offensive. And I'm oh, not yeah. talking about like social justice warrior, like, oh, we want to represent the, the crippled people no, man, or whatever. It, it's just kind of fucked up. Like, because it literally, the scene goes on for like three, four minutes of watching this like paralyzed woman just like writhing around the ground and then slowly crawling up on her. It's like, do you have to show her legs? Yeah. Like, while, uh, while Shaq is just sitting there with this shit eating grin on his face, just like, yeah, look at her crawl. Yeah, he, yeah, no, he's and, and Shaft, and, and Shaft Richard, too is looking. And Richard, no, Richard Roundtree, at least in that shot, is the only person in this scene who's like, "Man, this is fucked up." Right, and the thing is, like, look, give her some goddamn dignity. The character, anyway, give the character some goddamn dignity. I know she's not really paralyzed, but <laughs> give the character some goddamn dignity to have less dignity about doing some shit that she should have learned how to do anyway. And then the second thing I thought was. Girl, put the fucking lock on in the wheelchair. That was the reason why she fell is because well, she didn't lock it. Again, this movie, you know, it pandering to kids. This is what you were saying. This is the scene where we're like, okay, well, we have to have our disabled superhero and show how strong they are. It's like, okay, I get where you're going with this. Your heart's in the right place. But please don't do that for three minutes while Shaq just gazes at her. It's fucking weird. It's fucking weird. And it, it's especially weird when they focus on she has nobody. She falls over and they just watch and her. Then, yeah, and they're like, like, yeah, fuck her. Yeah, fuck her. Oh, she'll do it. And if she doesn't. Her dad's dead. Yeah. She has nowhere else to go. She can't do it. Then she'll never live. And then we care about her. We, then we care it about her It would have been better if Shaq had given her a gun and been like, you know what to do. Exactly. I gave you this handicapped bathroom, and now here's a and gun. And now a handicapped gun. <laughs> and, oh, shit. <laughs> no safety. And so, um... Ah! <laughs> and, Much and, like your chair. <laughs> oh, no. And so... Because this is the moment where Steel is revealed to be the ultimate badass. Like any superhero, okay, okay. any superhero movie yes. has a scene where the superhero costume is revealed, yes. and it is an epic. It is extravagant. The, the the orchestra swells. Superman, and it is there, and he is Steel. The 1978 Superman. What do you have? Lois Lane. She's in a helicopter. The helicopter is falling. Superman catches her. He catches the helicopter. Drops both of them off. He's Superman. Batman begins. What do you have? He fucking takes out a bunch of dudes like a ninja and then grabs a guy through a center and goes, I'm Batman. Headbutts him. And then like zooms away. Right. Spider-Man. What do you have? He saves Mary Jane from the Green Goblin. They're on top of a garden. And he goes, hey, I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. And Macy then, Gray is there. Her, and then Macy Gray. <laughs> hey, babe. And then he heroically <laughs> swings away. This movie, what do you fucking have? You have Shaq Plastic lumbering at this Oscar nominated war. After beating up an Oscar nominee, yes. And now, and mind you, the image that you have in your head is mm. the top military minds mm. creating the top non-lethal weaponry that the U.S. military has to offer. The best of the best. The best Dream of the, the crop. And you see him walking clumsily towards this guy, semi in the shadows. While cross-eyed. While cross-eyed. And he does that, goes up an escalator, and then beats up some cholos. Y'all be cool now. Yes! That's the fucking movie right there. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, look. Okay, I'm just gonna stop it there. A lot of weird shit just happened, but why or how the fuck did these cholos get like a two by four? Out of nowhere. From? Where the, do they pull it the from? The trunk, yeah. I get the bat in the trunk. I get that. But why do they have a block of wood that you can just break and fight? Get out of here. I like you to compare this scene to the uh, Cholo fighting scene in Logan and just try to measure the distance between the two. Oh, oh, <laughs> both superhero from, both fighting Cholos. I'm going to smoke you like a blunt fool. Very t- man, I, I, I was thinking of you the entire time. Not just because not just because I'm a racist. Not just because I'm a racist. That's mostly why. But, right. But I, I no, literally, like the whole time, like those fucking Cholos show up, I'm like, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. This movie has everything. And no, and that's the thing. Like, you want to talk about, oh, black people aren't represented. Hey, S.A. Yeah, black people aren't represented ever as heroes so Quincy Jones like I'm gonna make a black hero but fuck, fuck Mexicans. the Mexicans yeah. yeah fuck those guys hey I'm gonna smoke you like a blunt fool <laughs> shooting him in the dick what's hey, the yeah, rule yeah, yeah, yeah butters you don't shoot a you guy in a dick that's weak you do not shoot a guy in the dick that's weak dude and and then it continues <laughs> where did that come from Whoa. how heavy is that bike right Now, I want y'all to compare this to the scene in Batman Begins when he outruns the cops <laughs> and drives back into his own Batcave and, and tell me that this is not infinitely better than that. And my shit is like, look, how do they have a chopper on him? 
This is a 400 pound 7 1 guy on a, I would he, say look, okay, a look, giant look, modified. He's a black guy in LA running from the cops. Okay, let's just be real. Okay, they're, they're, they're going to be on him, all right? Right. They're going to be fucking on him. How do they lose him? How do they lose How him? How the fuck did they lose him? And the thing is, it's not like the junkyard's covered. No. It's open, so you're going to no. see him go off if you have the chopper. Even if you lose sight, you're going to see that big ass thing coming down. That door into the Stewart Hotel, yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's exactly uh, when we went to L.A. That was the that, state, yeah. that exterior of there. Yeah, that was the exterior. It's not coming up as fast as I wanted to. But, yeah, there you go. That's the entrance for the Stewart Hotel. Just a dome of lovely, garbage. Lovely palm tree. Though. Lovely palm tree indeed. So, once again, seven foot one black guy helping people. Cool. Now, in this world... That in this world that we're living in right now, this world. is merely a guesstimation from the internet. So, like, this is kind of an online poll that I read. Yeah, seven foot one. This sounds right, but it could be factual. Don't get mad on YouTube. Be like, oh, you're wrong, Sam. This is the real number. More so than usual. Put the real number down if you have it. But they say that two thousand eight hundred people in the world of seven point two five billion people are seven foot tall or more. Now we could just ignore if one Shaq had a full face helmet so it looks like he was a robot or a mech or two if the movie just fucking left it alone itself he's an african-american about seven foot six yes. as big as a mountain very right. big and he was covered in steel yes. and he returned all of our belongings yeah. see and you know the negroes don't do that <laughs> it's almost like his name was irons oh. no but and so okay the grandma knows. I'm sorry, it just, it just it just sunk in what you said. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I said something very racist on behalf of those white people. And so, what I'm saying is, seven foot one, seven six. Okay, he like, was so seven, well educated too. Yes, so well spoken. So seven spoken, yeah. six black man in L. A. In L. A. Wearing steel. Wearing steel. Okay, fuck the steel part. Uh, a seven foot one black man. A seven foot one man. It's two thousand eight hundred in the world. Let alone who, in L.A. Who would have probable cause to go on a vendetta against crime. Who the kids in the neighborhood are seen to know a, everything about him. They know he's the kids would know that he's seven foot. Who they was, know that he's a weapons expert. Who was there when another cop tried to fucking run down these same bank robbers like the night before. And he, he wasn't in costume. I, the thing is, he is... Seven foot like Ray J knows. Ray J knows that he does this shit. How did Ray J not spread the word? How did he not see this on the news? How did the how did the word not spread immediately in that neighborhood of this hero that they have? That he oh wait a seven foot tall black guy who's polite and is covered in armor. That mm. sounds like the one seven foot tall black guy. Well, I know. They didn't show you it was the other seven foot tall black guy who's a total dick who lives. Oh there. yeah, fuck that fuck guy in particular. Guy. No, they do the lineup and they don't get anybody even close to Shaq. Oh my god, that scene is amazing. <laughs> the, the fact that they have to spend so long when they had that lineup going where they're like. I wonder who it could be. Uh, is it the guy that's seven foot? No, 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 no. Maybe it's the guy that's five foot eight to the left of him. Right. And, and that's the thing. This movie has to be frustrating where it doesn't have to be. Put him in full armor. It's a robot. You can even just do that. And all you have to do is cover his mouth, put different gloves on him, and that's it. It's already made of plastic. It's not like he's... You're not modifying the suit itself. He already looks like a fucking toy as is, all right? Exactly. And the thing is, so anyway, now, Burke is orchestrating bank heist now. Oh, yeah, he's in this movie. He's in this movie. Going back to that. We have enough time for what, Ian? YouTube comment oh, time. Oh, we have time for YouTube comment time. Thank you very much for watching. Steel. Sorry for the late episode, but stuff happens. But it's here now. Thank you for watching Steel. Leave a comment down below. Leave another comment and leave another comment. Then leave a like, another like, and then a third like. That way it's triple like. Doesn't do anything, but it makes me feel good. Ian. What was last week's movie? Blade. Last week's movie was Blade. And before we talk about Blade, be sure to go to DTMerch.com. Right there, it's where my hand is. No more editing tricks like last week. DTMerch.com. Go ahead and get yourself some DT merch. All sorts of specials going on right now. So go now. Oh, it's gone. So, like we said, Ian. Blade. Last week was Blade. This week, Steel. But last week's Blade. Let's take a look at those comments from last week. Raymond Fran, some motherfuckers are always trying to Actually, ice skate. That's uphill. my review of this movie. That, that, that is my review of Steel. Some motherfuckers are always trying to ice skate up. Uphill. There you go. That's Ray, you go. Raymond Fran. Thank you for thank your you. apt review of the movie that you didn't even know we were seeing this week. <laughs> Steel. Uh, next up, we have uh, Del Boy. Uh, this is a long one, but I'll read it because it is actually indicative of what, uh, not Steel, but what Blade meant mm. to comic book fans. Easily the most important and underrated superhero movie of all time. Comic book movies were dead in Hollywood after the massive flops like Tank Girl, Barbed Wire, and the cheesy Schumacher Batman movies. Hollywood stopped making superhero movies, 
Blade came out and was a success. So X Men came out a few years later, and Blade kickstarted, and Blade kickstarted the superhero movies in Hollywood again. There would be no X Men, Nolan Batman movies, or Marvel DC universes without Blade. It started the revolution of a more gritty and grounded superhero movie after the cheesy market of those later Batman movies. Del totally Boy got it. That. Yeah, no, I agree with that one hundred percent. Oh man, and no, and that's the thing. A lot of people want to discount Blade, but then he forgot to mention that Steel was also one of those ones that they ruined movies. So. <laughs> <laughs> all movies, not just, not yeah, just yeah. super Every, movies. All of cinema. It ruined all of cinema. Next up, we have uh, Vishwa. Vishwa I'm is sure. mad. And a lot of people were kind of mad in the same way. All right. It feels like you guys are nitpicking way too much. Yeah, it's kind all of right. the point of the show. Like, we, we kind of. got I many mean, minutes to fill, so there's going to be a little bit of nitpicking. And the part of we, it, we actually love the movie. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's <laughs> the thing is, like, we, we try not, like, if it's a movie like Blade, like, there comes a certain point where you're like, yeah, you can't really nitpick. It's so much because it's a schlocky B movie. Right. But come on, man. Like, what, what, what are we, we going to talk about? Blade gonna talk about? is not a cinematic masterpiece. No. It's a fun movie. It's a fun movie. It's, it's, it's educational, yeah. It, it is educational, yeah. It's, it's saying, like, I learned how, a lot how, about black culture watching Blade. Exactly, yeah. you know? Yeah. And in this one, especially more. Oh, yeah. Because you got to get those guns off the streets. Sparky. That's the one motivation. But there was a contentious part of my review last time. Was of there? our review last time. Was there? And that was the fact that Blade beat up a lot of women. <laughs> a lot of guys were defending that shit like so. Blade is a feminist because he doesn't discriminate. That was the big thing was that they were vampires, they were evil, and Blade don't discriminate. Like that, like that scene in Deadpool when he's uh, fighting Gina Carano where he's like, I don't know what to do. Is it sexist to hit you? Is it sexist to not hit you? What's, what's the right decision right now? Right. What is the right decision indeed? Um, now, this one, Ian, you'll get a kick out of this because... Uh, is it weird? Uh, no. I don't know if you've ever read the Reddit uh, R, I am very smart. No. But we got one of those comments in for the first time. And what it is is people that are saying obvious shit as if they're the only one who knows it. Take this one, Ian. Garlic is historically something vampires hate. They would avoid it like the plague to the point that people used used to use it to ward off vampires and would put it around their necks of corpses to prevent them from turning into vampires. Vampires would avoid drinking blood from people who ate it. I love the fact that these guys act like an authority on things like they know nothing about. Pretty dumb. Everyone knows that! <laughs> Everyone! I want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt and think that that tweet was maybe ironic, but I don't know. Oh, that's a Facebook comment. A YouTube comment, I'm oh, sorry. YouTube comment. Fuck it. No, right. I'm, no I'm just saying, Whatever. like, green guy... We know that garlic is like the vampire's thing. That's why you never saw Bella or Edward at a fucking Italian restaurant. That's because we know that's the thing. Because they're not family. Because you're not, you know what? Because they're not family. And when you're there, you're family. Oh, but thank you, soon, thank you. I'll be here all week. Thank you. Yeah, there you go. But no, but we, <laughs> I read that. I'm like, do you really think we don't know that? I, like, did we not, did we not put out that we know that garlic was a thing that they eh, hated? Yeah, probably not. <laughs> Well, whatever. Don't, don't Maybe be, you're a stupid person. Maybe you're not. Next comment. Don't don't do that ever again. Just don't do that. Be like, water's wet, you guys. It is. Oh, right, water, it's wet. Now this one. Right. I want to talk about starting contention? Okay. This is from uh, aptly enough uh, for Black History Month. Lavar Ball, uh, one of the most prominent black fathers but don't in take my the word NBA right now. Lavar Ball, not Lavar Burton, you ass. Lavar Ball. Same one. Sons Same one. of. <laughs> I loved him in Roots. Yeah. <laughs> Lavar Ball. Name Toby. Blade is better than Black Panther. We haven't seen Black Panther. Well, is he talking the character of the movie? I don't know. Because we haven't seen the movie yet. But you know what? I'm going to say he thinks the movie. LeVar Ball, Blade is better than Black Panther. Fighting words you guys discussed in the comments. I'm going to assume he's seen it just for comments. So sure. Why not? Even there, comic books. Blade is better than Black Panther in the comics. You guys discussed that down below. I ain't touching it. We only have uh, the Blue Beetle and Gold Balls. Do you know who Gold Balls is? No. But he's one of the like only that. Mexican superheroes out there. Wow. His name is Gold Balls. Oh, wow. Last but not least, Demario Love. I got a BJ in the movie several times. <laughs> While watching it? No, but his name is Demario Love, so I assume you get BJ. So you were talking about that one crew? time. Oh my god, the crew showing up. Holy oh shit. Oh, people are coming Grant? in. Right now. Is that Kyle Scott? Oh you better wrap this shit up. They're coming oh, in. It's time to wrap that shit up. So oh, white people. It's Black yeah. History Month and the white people are taking yeah, over. The white devils are here to take our the, jobs. The oh, white shit. devils are here, so but well, we got time to say goodbye to everybody. Yeah. I think how much time we got? We got, oh, we got enough time to get out of here. So yeah, yeah, let's yeah. get out of here. But before we get out of here, thank you, YouTube. Thank you for watching. Next week, we'll be doing Spawn. <laughs> I'll see if I can get Martin on. fucking hate ourselves. We're, I'm going to see if I can get Martin on. No promises. But we're doing Spawn next week. Be sure to leave a comment. <laughs> be sure to subscribe. We're almost at 100,000. Oh, wait a minute. This is in the future after we pass 100,000. Get us to a million. Guess right. Get us to a million subscribers. Let's do this thing. Ian, thank you very much. It's time to go. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody in the audience over there, and it's time to go. You can't see him, but a bunch of white out. people just walked We're in. It's very out. scary. It's gone. Black, the white people are here to take us over. Uh, Black power. 